trustee. Uh, we were just having a ca casual conversation with uh, Elizabeth last night about my Santa information, about giving her things, just tips, because she's young and she's new to the, the whole Santa game. And during the evening, uh, we're having a great conversation, and behind me, we're seeing all this commotion, and we're trying to figure out what's going on, and all of a sudden, we hear this we look up and here's this balloon going straight up into the air and the other Santa Clauses by the way they're all the celebrate Santa chair people are having this great laugh and it's a roaring laugh of course there's 12 of them and they're all just making fun of the fact that the balloon went up in the air a bunch of six-year-olds I thought it was but no it's a bunch of 60 year olds okay so I turn around and I'm going back and doing staying focused on Elizabeth I think this is more important and uh, Pretty soon, Virginia, you know Virginia, Virginia is that uh, night supervisor. She comes out kind of shakily and comes over to Santa Mac and says, you guys are going to have to be a little quiet because people are complaining. It's late now. I think you should go to your rooms. <laughs> and so they they kind of huff and puff and kind of, well, puff. I don't know. Okay, one last balloon throw then. Okay. <laughs> you know, you're not going to to kick us out just because you told us once so here she goes they throw the balloon again and up it goes and it comes near me and I pick it up and I throw it back at them and then I turn around and I'm still talking to Elizabeth about my story and how how to make better uh, Santa uh, outfits and things like that and she says something's happening over there Santa Carlucci they're pointing at you and saying your name a lot and pretty soon they all disperse and I continue to talk to Elizabeth Elizabeth, and they, the guys leave, and all the chair disappeared. About five minutes later, Joe Moore shows up in his bathrobe and his pajamas, barefoot, with his eyeballs sticking out like he's a cartoon that character, saying, Look, dude, we can't get kicked out of this place. You can't keep playing with these balloons and making everybody stay awake. And I said, Joe, what are you talking about? That wasn't me. That was your chair, people. What are you kidding me? He says, Mac just pounded on my door and says, we have an emergency. Carlucci's downstairs making so much noise that they're ready to kick us out of the hotel. <laughs> So I said, Joe, I have a witness. Elizabeth, tell him. And Elizabeth stepped up like my shield. And she says, yeah, Joe, it was them. It wasn't Carlucci, it was them. And I said, thank you. And Joe says, and then I, I look at Joe and I can see the little smirk on his face. And I said, you. And he said, isn't that fun to get you? It's so fun to get you. We call all these other guys in his room. He puts on his bathrobe. He's barefoot. He wears his Santa Claus pajama bottoms, which has the big black belt. And he's, you know, he's got the big buckle here. You know, he needs direction or something. Though. But the point of making is that he has this, and he comes downstairs. He looks like a cartoon character. I don't know what he can do to make his eyes come out of his head that far, but he, he looks like one of those things where the, like this. I'm sitting still talking to uh, Elizabeth. And he says, what the heck are you thinking, Carlucci? You, you're going to get us kicked out of there. I've worked too hard to make this thing happen. You can't ruin it in one night. I went, <laughs> Joe, what are you talking about? They're going to kick us out of here because of all this balloon and noise and stuff. I go, it wasn't me, Joe. It was them. It was them. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, they, you said that you put them all up to it. Oh, Joe, I wouldn't do that. I'm serious, right? And all of a sudden, Elizabeth steps in. She says, yeah, he's right. I said, yeah, listen to her. She says, come on, listen to Joe. So he's using it like a shield. <laughs> yeah, what she said. She said, yeah, they were all conspiring and talking. I heard his name mentioned a couple of times, and they were pointing over here. I was wondering what they were thinking about doing. And all of a sudden, I see Joe start to grab her. Like, crap, you. You know what you, you and he just come over, he starts kissing on and hugging me, and I just, oh, God. Joe, you know, I'm getting too old for this. My heart was just beating so hard. And he says, so now, you know what we're going to call the Carlucci. <laughs> so anytime we have this big event where we think, 
Uh, let's do a little bit of a painful thing on somebody else. We call it the Carlucci. It doesn't matter who it's going to happen to. So be careful next year. You, gotta, you know, these kids, they're like little kids, you know. They might be 60, but they're like six. <laughs> and they plan. They conspire, you know. <laughs> and they try to say, it ain't me. Oh, that's right. And that's that Bob Elkin. I used to be, Bob, if you're listening to this, I owe you, man. I owe you, all right? <laughs> and on to, uh, you know, we're having the big laugh, and I look up in the in the big corridor, and I'm looking up, and everybody's looking down, clapping at me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, hey, thanks for taking it for us, girl. Yeah. Gee, you know, we knew you could handle it. You're not the weakest link, <laughs> contrary to the rumor. <laughs> it's got to be love there. You know, I'm looking for it. I don't know if I can yeah. find it, but it's got to be something. <laughs>